Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's been confirmed. We we figured yesterday that Velma was canceled. Now uh, HBO, Max, Warner Brothers, whoever the hell is in charge over there now, they have confirmed that Velma is indeed canceled. Basically, it only had a two season order and it's over. It's over. It's over for Velma. Right, and they had the special, but it... Mindy Kaling has already moved on to something else for Paramount. So it was, you know, I already kind of figured it was just a matter of time they announced this. It wasn't really shocking. Plus, it did not go over well with fans. And the thing no. is, we're talking about across the board. Because they're going to argue, it's the, the racist massage and it's the trolls. No, no, no. People all, all across the board did not like this show. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna talk about this because what's interesting about this is the reaction. Most animation fans are delighted that this show because has been canceled it's bad. because it's not good. But we do have some people in animation Twitter. A lot. I don't know if any of them actually work professional or they want to, but they're like nobody should be happy about anybody losing their jobs. And we're not. I want to be very clear. Nobody's happy about people losing their jobs. But I would argue these jobs are gone a while ago because yes. you know. Well, the problem is, is for every misfire like Velma, more and more animators lose jobs because they don't green light exactly. shows that are actually going to succeed. Exactly. You don't want to lose your job, then work on shows that are decent. Um, so we're going to we're gonna talk about this. Before you get into any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, get woohoo if you do. Woohoo. Go out to clownfishminus.com and back the reef, support the reef. Uh, you get 50% off your first month, and we also have a bunch of merchandise, so check that out. This comes from Deadline. Deadline, it's official. Velma has been canceled by Max after only two seasons. But it wasn't very good. <laughs> it wasn't. It was basically one season split into two parts. That's, right? yeah. So long, Velma. Max has opted not to renew adult animated series Velma after two seasons. This is the statement. Over the past two seasons, Mindy and Charlie have created an incredibly fun and fresh world within the iconic it, whodunit franchise. Yeah, that's fun and fresh. That's not how I'd describe it, but okay. <laughs> While we won't be moving forward with another season of the series, we thank them for their compelling coming-of-age storytelling, unrivaled clues, and hilarious hijinks. I would, no. So how this got leaked was somebody who worked on the show uh, said, hey, guys, uh, thanks. I'm not going to be working on season three because we're not getting a season three. And then he had to take his Instagram post down. But it, the, it was, the cat was out of the bag. We already knew. I, I think everybody had a hunch that this was not going to get a third season. But uh, we have a bunch of people that are angry on uh, on Twitter about it. Right. So, um Right up front, I'm going to tell you, do not contact any of these people. No, just, no, don't, don't do that. That's the, shit. Don't right. Do it. This is, these are publicly available tweets, but this is very interesting because the vast majority, the vast majority of animation Twitter is celebrating this show getting canceled because it was so God awful, but we do have some holdouts and they're like, how dare you celebrate? People are losing their jobs. I'm like, no. Well, yeah, just because the story sucked doesn't mean that the animation sucked. You know, that's the difference, too. Just, just I don't know. It wasn't the greatest thing, but it wasn't terrible either. Just like just because something doesn't do well because the story stinks doesn't mean that people that are doing their job in animation didn't do a good job doing their job. You know, it's not the same thing. They they can two things can be true at once. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so this person here says stand with the animation until it's something you don't like. Yeah, because if, it does, if it's not marketable, it's not marketable. I'm not stand with the animation, right? So I'm just gonna I have to like the Shearers and the Princesses of Power just because yes. you know because it's animation. People you, worked hard you know, on it, geeky. You care. have to like it. You have you to care. like it. So if you go to, and you keep ordering food at a restaurant and they keep giving you something that's that's you know crap and it's something you don't want, you're supposed to just eat it and stand with it anyway because they worked hard on it. Yes, I'm just saying that's that that is the uh, reasoning that a lot of these people have, and uh, again. It's it's very weird. Like I, it, it feels like back in the day, people that worked in the animation industry, that worked in comics, that worked in video games, it feels like the average person person working in that industry had a better business sense than a lot of the people that are either working in the industry now or want to. I think in ninety five percent of the cases, it's people that want to work in the industry, and what they're seeing is the industry drying up in front of them. But that's that's life. That yeah. happens. <laughs> it happens. Uh, media should be preserved until it's something you don't like. No, I think media, good media, 
See, you're, you're forgetting the good in front of all this. Good media should be preserved. But, but if you're going to go on about that, then why are you changing all these established IPs to make them something else now? You know, what about the original should be preserved? Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? And that's what, that's what people wanted. So the, what, they, what people want and what there's a demand for will remain preserved. Uh, support indie animation until it's something you don't like. That wasn't indie animation. It was never indie. Okay. That was not indie animation. So let me let me just like I don't think we know what Mindy Kaling got paid for Velma, but I guarantee you it was metric shit tons more than your average animation showrunner. In fact, what she got paid was probably enough to greenlight like five other shows that might have been mm-hmm. a hell of a lot better. I'm yeah. just saying. But you know. support indie animation. This was not indie animation. You know, that's not, th- this is not what that is, you know? Yeah. Um, show some empathy, et cetera, et cetera. This person, um, kind of the same thing. Uh, uh, again, do not harass these people. But, you know, again, once a full time job, please. So this, th- these are people that want to get in the industry. It's really disgusting that people are celebrating the show's cancellation while it's animation staff are losing their jobs during a time when the industry is okay. in a very bad way. Okay. Here's, here's how, here's how economics work and math. If you have something, a product, in this case, a show, and you put it out there and people don't like it and they don't watch it and they don't support it and they aren't giving their money to it, then it's really stupid of a studio to continue dumping money into something that nobody wants. Supply and demand is a thing. You have a supply of shit. No one wanted that supply of shit. So they're canceling the supply of shit. I'm sorry, but that's the way it is. Now, does that mean that the animation, like I said, it was bad? No, but the story was stupid. I'm sorry, the story sucked. You made too many changes. You're definitely pushing a bunch of bullshit. People didn't want it. They're like, what is this? We want real Scooby-Doo, not whatever this is. And I'm sorry, it is what it is. And it's, 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 it's an insult to them. Well, maybe your, your animation or your show was an insult to everyone else. Yeah, I mean, this person works in the industry, too. I'm looking at the, uh, they, they, they were a character designer on, on Patrick Star and SpongeBob. Well, that, but that think, show's still going on. I'm so, just saying. Because people, people like it, right? I mean, this look, if somebody pitched this to me, if Mindy Kaling came to me and said, hey, I want to take Scooby-Doo and just take a steaming shit all over the franchise, and you're going to pay me millions of dollars. Me personally, you're going to give me millions and millions of dollars to just take a steaming ass shit all over this evergreen franchise that uh, Warner Brothers has kept alive for decades. Is that cool with you, bro? Can we do that? And I would fire whoever said yes. I'd be like, you know what? We have we have a responsibility to make sure that Scooby-Doo continues to make money. Yeah, and here's the thing. It's not brand damaging. Right. Now, again... They're unrelated. The fact that people are greenlighting the show, they're paying her that much money, and they went along with it, it, it is going, it's true. But animators worked hard on it and did what their job and what they were told to draw. Also true. They're both two true things. And just because, and sadly, the ones who made all the money and got paid really well are the ones that will fill upward. And the animators who just did their jobs are the ones who are, are going to be in Hertzville. Well, but that's the way this works. That, that's exactly like you said. Uh, Mindy Kaling already has a deal with Paramount. She, I just saw something the other day. I can't remember what the show was, but she's already like she she gets like millions of dollars every time she gets a show picked up. Right. I mean, she basically just wipes her ass with it and moves on. And, and whatever the hell happens to the people who worked on this shit, not her problem. Now, if she were a good steward, she'd be like, yeah, I have a responsibility to deliver a show that is going to last more than two seasons. Let's do something really incredible. But she's like, no, let's just kick the shit out of Scooby-Doo for kicks and giggles because I'm Mindy Kaling and I can't. Um, they're like, people are going to lose their jobs and probably going to have a hard time finding work. People have families need money. I agree. Yeah. But counterpoint. So there's a company out there selling something that you don't like and you don't buy because, you know, it, it, they, they, they put out a, some, a, some kind of statement that goes, you know, away, a votes away you don't like or some politically you don't like. So you deliberately go out of your way to cause them harm and shut them down. Or like people go to, to, to say YouTube and try to get their, their monetization taken away. Yes. Things like that. Yes. You know, those people have families and need money, but you all still think it's okay to like boycott them or to do everything you can to shut them down. I'm not this person in particular. I'm just saying the mentality. And it's like, I'm not saying either one are right. It's a sad reality. But when it comes to things like like any job, but especially in Hollywood, it's piecework. It's 
it's like you might be on a show unless you're hired by the studio full time you might be on a show for like that show run and that's it that's just the nature of the beast like if you get hired for a tv movie a movie or a tv series you're hired for that project unless you're hired by the studio directly as part of a staff that doesn't mean you're going to be hired for the next project it is the way it is and uh, animation is is constricting right now it's contracting. I'm yeah, sorry. That's yeah. the way it is. And that's that's what they're upset about. And I, I get it. Like I, there are a lot of people out of work and they're they're getting angry and they're blaming Blame YouTubers. the studio executives. Blame the studio executives who greenlit this because as this person down here um, points out, not having a bad show running is actually a win, especially one that gets such an atrocious adaptation of a beloved franchise. It feels somewhat bad for the animators yes. who have no control over the story. Right, that's why I said, yes. But that's what happens when a project flops. And this person said, I literally have no reason to be upset at something I hate being canceled. I can only wish the best of luck to the animators. Because they're just doing their job. Yeah. But projects I actually liked got canceled for this literal shit show. This is a win for me. That's, that's true. true. The money that probably could have gone to another show that might have had a chance that had been its own thing and might have actually had a chance at, at surviving more than two seasons got punted over to Mindy Kaling because she was a buzzword. She was, you know, uh, buzzy or whatever, had the whatever was going on. She was the it girl. I guess they called the it girl or whatever. And she was at the time when the show got greenlit. She was. I don't understand how, but okay. She's the shit girl now because everything she touches seems to turn to shit. But you know, this is this is what happened. She's gonna walk away. She doesn't give a she doesn't give a rat's ass. Because the person said the animators are already working on something else right now. I don't know if that's true. A lot of them probably are because again, you know, this show got greenlit several years ago. I think it was before the pandemic. And we're like, God, we're that's just like this is a bad sounds idea. Sounds bad on paper. But I of saw, course, it was the biggest in the trolls. The biggest, the biggest in the, in the trolls. trolls. It's everybody didn't watch the show. They and, they pulled the plug on Cartoon Network shows that were actually doing pretty okay. They pulled them off of of streaming completely to take a write off. Why would they save? Uh, why would they save Velma? Mm-hmm. Right, just to be nice. I mean, I, why why don't these people understand? Like, it's it's cool to love what you do, and it's cool to work in in the industry, and it's all that. But at the end of the day, it's a business, and it's you're dealing with other people's money. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. Unless you're starting your own studio. And what you're more than welcome to do. It can, it can be done. I mean, look at what happened with that uh, would be was independent it? animation. Yeah, Amazing Digital Circus is it's on uh, Netflix, and they did all themselves. You can do that, but you're gonna have to come up with your own money. You're gonna have mm-hmm. to build your own audience. Um, we already read this, yeah. Yeah, so it's just yeah, a lot of them are moving on, but uh, yeah, it's a win because HBO loses money. That's actually true. Uh, but the thing is, is this this is part of an overall change an attitude toward well, animation with Warner Brothers. They well, if you go back real quick, I wanted to show you something. You just were just there. This one person said, and I, this is, I think this is what we're worried about. Also, I worry that execs are looking at this, the complete wrong way and thinking, ah, this show failed, not because it wasn't great, but because people obviously don't want animation and into the shredder it goes. And that's exactly what's probably going to happen. If you green light yeah. these shitty shows that suck and especially ones that are really trying hard to be edgy or gender driven or whatever. And then you have the, the unhelpful media going out there, you know, causing problems when the, before the show even starts calling everybody names and the show bombs. All they're going to do is they're going to look at it and be like, well, this kind of stuff doesn't fly. So we're not going to do it. We're not going to green light. Like we talked before about the one girl who had a, a pitch that was actually really good, yeah. but she told us that she, they wouldn't even look at it because the other, some other stuff they greenlit did poorly or caused a lot of controversy. So they wouldn't even look at it or they would, they're going to move forward with it because their takeaway was the wrong takeaway. And that is very possible. So don't do shitty, sh- sucky shows. <laughs> This person here says, if I broke all the windows in my neighborhood, that would also create work. That's what? true. Well, okay. Yeah, people have to fix the, the Okay, the hurricane's going to do it for them. Oh, God. Yeah, I hope everybody in Florida stays yeah, safe. Yeah, we're very worried. We have a lot of friends and family down there. Yeah, I hate this post because it's one of those takes that I strongly disagree with, but everyone else who disagrees with it instead of of doing so for a logical reason is just a heartless yes. bitch and saying anything against it will get you grouped together with them. Yes, so there's exactly. A bit, I, I haven't followed all the drama. Passive there's aggressive bullshit. There's a whole bunch of, of civil war going on here with cartoon Twitter. And the thing is, is like, again, 95, th- this, this person did work on a show, but like 95% of the people who are getting in this conversation have never worked in animation. They just want to, and they're looking at like, Oh my God, all the jobs are disappearing. That's what they're thinking about. Should have worked on a show that wasn't designed to be rage bait then. Yes. Thank you. It was. Yeah. Maybe they shouldn't have animated this anomaly 
in the time space continuum. What? Anyway, but anyway, it goes on and on. It's, it's, there's this comment after comment. A reasonable, reasonable man here uh, at Fort Degree. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'm, that that sounds like a that sounds like a person I should listen to, right? The people who worked on this knew they were going to lose their jobs immediately, and were still blessed with the second season. They should have a hard time finding work because they made absolute garbage. They can get a job working on the Ru- RuPaul cartoon, no, work on listen, the Simpsons. They're never going to cancel the listen, Simpsons. But listen, like I said before, a shitty show greenlit by terrible shitty decisions is and and animators working hard doing their job uh you know who didn't have a voice in those decisions can be uh, true at the same time two things can be true at once yeah but being like screeching and whining about it is probably going to actually do you more damage for getting a job you know in in the long run so i, I think the people screaming about it aren't people who were involved i i love this this one though uh this is a uh, Sess says game companies have been laying off lots of people too do you care about them or do you only cry for animators well, from a mediocre that's series that's a valid point there there were a, a lot like more job lo- sugary cato sugary cato there were a lot more job losses in triple a gaming but again it came down to 90% of the time People not wanting the project, people not supporting the game, not buying the thing, not whatever, because it just it didn't come together. In this case, like if I if I were a Scooby Doo fan and I w- was working on this, I'm like, yeah, this is gonna last a season or two. Like shit, I'll take the money, but here, look, nobody r- wants this. Ranting rooster. I personally prefer you know screaming cock, but that's another story. <laughs> so okay. that's my new that's my new username. Calm the fuck screaming down. Screaming cock. You've got off course. You're so worried about job security that you circled all the way around to defending (laughs) corporate greed. True. They're using old IP, which they keep doing, and taking control of creativity, which usually involves completely ruining it from the old audience, to produce slop, and all you can see is but their job providers. You know, they would have been better off taking the money... And doing a, a show, doing more of like the, the Scooby, maybe you used to do the Scooby Doo DVDs and the Scooby Doo movies and stuff, and everybody loved them. Or another, you know, some, one of the shows that did well, they're better off doing more of that than they yeah. were doing this because at least people would have been interested. Yeah. And, and like they could, I mean, I was, I guess, morbidly curious what a more adult Scooby Doo show would be like. And I think somebody could pull that off, but sure as hell wasn't Mindy Kaling. She was like the last person that. Was qualified to do this, but uh, here, t- Grimming. To be fair, this one was done for a, was done for a while, which I agree with. I think it's been done for quite a while. Yeah, and I do believe most of these folks are probably working on other projects, which you probably know this for experience working on shows like Patrick, the Patrick Show. Yes, but I'm sure that's but the case. Once a full time job, please. Mm-hmm. So I think again, we have a lot of people that are not working in animation. They're seeing the industry constrict. Maybe some some people aren't getting called. I'm not saying that's the case here, but maybe because they're difficult. That could be. I'm not saying that's the case here. That I'm just saying, be. you know, if you're going out there and posting stuff like this, it might not benefit you in the way you think. Yeah. Uh, Arc. We'll wrap up here with uh, Arc Artist. This is another one here. Uh, Jason, the cartoon fan, says, except for people's jobs, of course, nobody gives a damn about. Uh, that, if those people worked on a show they don't like, unfortunately, um, people making comments about it, And this person says, uh, dude, nobody actually owns their work. In That's this true. We've talked about that at length. Yep. And Velma was a hand-me-down IP bastardized, <laughs> bastardization turned into literal rage bait. They wanted people to get angry at for attention. And yes, views, 100%. The animation industry is in a better place of stuff like this. I agree. Because yeah. they're going to look at this and be like, hey, maybe we should just make good shows and not worry about like trying to own the chuds or whatever. Because all he did was just piss everybody off across the board. And it doesn't matter what side you're on. And I think that they're just better to make just good shows people watch. I mean, it's really, you know, yeah. it really isn't rocket science. Shows like Infinity Train died to, so Velma could live, right? Mm-hmm. And they would have like, been better doing more Infinity Train. Yeah. They would have been, yeah, yeah. You so know? We're going to wrap this up. Yep. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Join the reef. Go to clownfishminus.com. That's clownfishminus.com. You will get exclusive access to podcasts and videos and comic strips and more, as well as merch discounts. Check it out. If you were a member, you could get this t shirt, this dismal t shirt. On our website, you'd get a 10% discount on that. You can also join in the community on clownfishminus.com. Thank you so much for the support.